We'll look forward to that. Thank you, Sarah. Get ready to say on guard. The South Youth Fencing Alliance is hanging up swords at a new location in Northwest Rochester. This new studio is now open by Mercy Hill Church. KIMT News 3 Sorel Cray tells us why the group is looking forward to sparring in the new spot. South Youth Fencing Alliance owner Kamal Wilkins has been trying to get a studio for a few years. In Rochester, it's really hard to find property. Eventually found a, a, a place that was affordable and, and signed the lease. A lot of times we we'll use the entire piece to hit and move our body. He's run the alliance for 10 years with 36 students learning the fine art of fencing. They've struggled to find a place to fit them. They had to train at places like Bamber Valley and Gage Elementary School. He says he's glad to have a place he can call his own. Finding a, a, a home um, for my fencers. So the young fencers that are coming up, even some of the older fencers that are getting ready to graduate or going to college, um, they have this uh, camaraderie and a sense of like belonging. Kamal Wilkins' daughter Avi, who's seven years old, tells me she's happy her family got a new studio. It's fun because like you just do it and you just have fun. 16 year old Murad Fadalia has been fencing for a couple years with Saifa and he says the new space will allow the sword wielding students to bond. They're, they really help like motivate, we really help motivate each other. Like uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if I would fence as hard at practice if it wasn't against them. Wilkins hopes the expansion will attract more students. His goal is to have 50 fencers by the end of the year and 100 fencers in the next three years. In Rochester, I'm Cyril Correa, KMT News 3. Hey, maybe fencing will become the new pickleball. Let's make it happen. Right now, the fencing club mostly works with kids and teens, but it's planning to add classes for adults down the line.